was two under three through across the world. Started the well, uh, game really well. Um, had some really good chances, two or three top chances. Don't score, and then we give away two easy goals, and then we have to fight our way back into the game. And then second half, we fight our way back. We get one back and um, push and push. And you know, Sam has a, a great chance where the keeper's made a hell of a save uh, off the cross, and then we'll hold the mark at the back stick. And we're knocking on the door uh, to draw, but we're giving ourselves a mountain to climb every single time. At the moment. Yeah, and it's different to Bolton, though, wasn't it, John? In that game, you were blown away by Bolton early on. Today, you were as good as, good as if not better than Rovers. You just didn't take your chance when Rovers took them. I dominated every facet of the game. Sixty percent possession, but it, it, look, it's not about possession. It's about how you use the ball and with purpose with it. And just to. You know, we don't put the ball in the back of the net and then it's too easy for the opposition to score or, or and we get the penalty away and uh, I, I feel we should deal with that better. You know, so yeah, uh, really disappointing in that yeah, respect. So just, but um, just again, side, I uh, keep saying we've, we've, we've played quite well and but just not come away with the points or a point and uh, it's, um, it's frustrating. And you were pushing on looking for an equaliser. Will Hondemark had one cleared off the line. There was also a shout for a penalty for a push on Mitch Binnick at one point, wasn't there, in the second half? Yeah, look, I could go into it. I think the ref has ref well, but he's, he's got his hand round Mitch's shirt and then he gives the foul the other way. So I just, I really I couldn't understand it. Yeah, John, that's eight defeats now in, in League One, all by a single goal. If you look at it positively, you're staying in games and you could argue you should have taken at least something from all of those matches, including today. But it is eight defeats. It's really frustrating, isn't it? Well, it is eight defeats, but and, and we're staring that in the face, and we're trying to be better. But it's about putting the ball in the back of the net and defending your box really well. And and the other thing is, you know, not many teams have got eight out at the moment, and we're having to adjust that front line. It's it's quite tough, but you know, and we're having to find a way. And look, we'll hopefully. I would say in two or three weeks' time, uh, we'll have uh, three or four back that can really help us offensively as well, and, and maybe John Guthrie. And, and we need our best players back. It, it, I'm watching the Premiership the other week, and Eddie Howe's moaning when he's got he's got the squad he's got, and he's got three out. You know, uh, it's Lucky just, boy. Yeah, and, and he's moaning when he draws against West Ham. So it's um, it's unbelievable, really. So you know, I've got I've got eight out at the moment. I've got to try and adjust with that, uh, and uh, it's it's hard in anyone's book. But you know, we play. There's a lot of that that's really good today, and you, you're commentating on it. Yeah, you it's good. It. It's, they're a good you side. You're it. a good side, John. No question about that. But you know, we've got to defend our box better. Can't allow the, the cheap goals we're allowing, um, and then we've got to make sure that um, you know we take our chances. And we, it was a boxing match. We've we've had all the chances today. Today they've had um, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. You mentioned the injury list though. You've got another game very quickly at Derby on Tuesday. You know, going to ask you now any chance of any of those players who are missing today being available for? I the just match? I just hope we have a clean bill of health after today's game. And you think you probably have, I didn't see anybody limping out there. Oh, right I don't here. know. I don't yeah. know until okay. we assess. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question I asked you last week. Yeah. Forgive me for asking it, but I'm going to ask it again. You took off Tyree Simpson, your target man striker, in the second half. Can you just explain to me what the thinking was behind it? No, it's not, not the only change you well, made. What are you, trying, what are you trying to point out? I'm, I'm just trying to ask you why you took him off, John. Was it injury? Is he not playing as well as he should be? Or, or what, what's the thinking behind I don't, it? I don't We've think... had people on the text saying, you know, why is he taking off Simpson when he's one of your few recognised strikers? Well, I put Sam down the middle, who, who's our recognised striker. I tried to change it up and, and refresh. He hasn't he hasn't got through a full 90. Um, I felt in the first half um, he needed to be better. I asked for more energy out of him. I thought he played a lot better in the second half, but he didn't look as like he was going to be a threat towards goal. Sam um, is always that threat, and I, I wanted to put Hainsey on at, at left wing to deliver and service the box. And... Um, and Mitch came on as well, and, and, and it starts to work. Hondemark gets a great chance at the back stick, and you know, we, we start to create some real good openings. We're playing some good football, and we're opening them up, you know, and that's the decisions you live and die by. Can he do a 90? I've got to look towards can he play now on again Tuesday. on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So I've got to look towards that, although I still want to do that. I, I still. 
I'd love him to be out there, but I've got no, no more offensive um, options to deal with. So I have to juggle this at the moment. You try and juggle this at the moment with what we've got in our front line. There's a lot of sympathy for you, John, because you're just going through what you went through last season. It seems to be a recurrence of that long injury list that you had to well, contend with on the way to Considering Barry's out suspended, it, 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 that's, that's a frustrating one, you know, because a bit of ill discipline has cost us there, you know, and imagine having Kieran uh, available there as well, you know. So, you know, would have been able to put him, him on and, and keep Sam out wide, but I'm in the juggle at the moment. And we've got to ride through maybe a, a tough period. And, and I, I feel either by Barrow or just after Barrow, I feel we should start getting some players back. And that'll make a hell of a difference to us. And just a quickie on Tyree Simpson. He, we're not really sure what kind of chance it was that he didn't quite put away in the opening few minutes of the contest. It I was, want him to be been, more aggressive yeah, in that but, moment. But he almost but maybe, scored. That would have been a big boost for him, wouldn't it, A huge boost for him. I want him to be... Uh, look, I'll have a look back at it, but I think he can be more aggressive. He can take a chance. Strikers have to take that chance. You know, and it's building a bit of confidence with him as well. So, look, it, believe in him, we're working with him, um, and, it, you know, he's got to come to the table himself. You had another striker on the bench, the teenager, Dobson. Was there ever a suggestion you might give him a few minutes at the end, or was it just too much of an occasion potentially for him? Oh, look, he's a young boy. He's only 16 years of age, you know, and um, it's a man's game out there, you know, and it was a great experience for him to be on the bench, and... You know, we're thankful for the academy that, that they're supporting um, us and he come up uh, uh, today. So, look, uh, you know, today I did what I did and I'm, I'm happy with what I did. You know, I'm trying to uh, get back in the game. I felt we um, tuned them down again. I felt we pushed and pushed. But in the first place, Tim, we shouldn't be tuned them down. No, no, but you were and you battled back. A lot of what we saw was good today. The signs are still positive, no, aren't they, One thing I want to say, uh, you know, uh, the, the fans today, again, you know, filling that away and them coming here, stand, and, and the one standing in the rain show, shows how much they love our club. We're fighting, we're giving everything I've got. And, uh, you know, I will keep fighting and give them everything I've got. I know you will, I'm sure you will. Um, great support, almost 700 of them today have made the trip to the West Country to, to follow you. That's an extraordinary yeah, turnout. And, and for them to stand in the rain like they did and, and keep singing, shouting, cheering and, and the applause we got at the end and I made sure that all the guys came over. You know, we're so appreciative and we give it everything we've got. It's just, you know, we'll turn it around. And onwards and ups to Derby on Tuesday. It's the kind of game the Cobblers would have relished when they saw the fixture list at the start of the season. Derby, a, a big club by third tier standards. It's an occasion to savour and to look forward to, albeit off the back of a disappointing defeat today. It will be a great occasion if we can go there and play with purpose and uh, get a result. And that's what we're going to do. So that's as simple as it is. Thanks, Mark.